Hey, it's Chris, your favorite solar power maker in Oklahoma. Got to show you what I got going on in here. <laughs> so Todd, uh, my electrician and neighbor, came by and we tore apart a whole bunch of stuff and finally got... Da -da -da, da -da -da. Check this noise out. This is the Reliance Controls Protran 6 Circuit Transfer Panel. And this thing is cool, cool, cool. I just got uh, magnetic computer printer paper and I put these on here. Let's see, it's magnetic. So just throw that on there. Like that. And. These are the circuits that I have connected to this transfer panel. Refrigerator, living room, microwave, vent hood, as you can read. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is. <laughs> and I've got everything on line right now because I'm not making any power. Sun is bleh. I'm supposed to get tornadoes in this area later this evening, so yippee on that noise. Really cool, it has watts for both A, B, and C here, and then D, E, F here. This is not connected. This is for that big generator cable, but that's not connected. And he just hooked right in to the main service panel. And we had a we had to run a line. I thought that took about an hour to do that. We had to run a line behind the wall here. Up and over as I've been saying in other videos behind here so the AC out on here goes in here on a AWG cable goes into here and I've got a jumper wire he said no problem with that jumper wire here into a 30 amp breaker and then we drilled a hole I drilled a hole. I took. I did. A, I did a little bit of this work. Drilled a hole behind here, and the cables runs up to the top. But man, I tell you, that is one one slick unit. I did some testing until about midnight last night, so I'm kind of dragging ass today. Uh, but it works, and it works really, 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 really good. Uh, but here is my problem. Okay. Making a on power uh, 350 watts, and it's just about noon or just after noon. Not quite solar noon, but you get the idea. And I am not doing very well on making power. So, what do you do when you when you can't make enough power from your solar panels? So I got a thousand watts there on, on the pergola. You got to get more panels, don't you? So I got on Craigslist, and there's a oil worker that has some industrial panels uh, for like 150 bucks. They're 435 watt panels, and he's selling them for 150 bucks a piece. And I got to make them work. The the VMP is 85 volts, and I'm my VMP on my panels out there is running about 95 volts. So it's not too shabby. Um, I'm going to see if I can try to make a couple of those big honking panels work and wire it in here. And also, I, I, I had a brainstorm idea. Take, uh, take my old Tracer MPPT solar charge controller, wire that into the 24 volt battery bank here, run a, run a line out and take one of those big honking panels, you know, with the DC cable, feeder cable, running right, right here to the front of the garage, and have one of those big 435 watt panels, and this is facing due east. As the sun comes up, I can, I can make like a little stand, cradle, roll around, cart type thing, and just have that sitting there for the morning sun. 
and yeah I'd have a cable run here in the garage but big whoop you do I'll be making power early so if I if I can pull the trigger and go get these I think I'm about buy four of them uh, you're talking four panels times 435 watts a piece you know that's what 1800 plus watts for 600 bucks you gotta be kidding me uh, for that price I'll, I can make them work but I think that would solve all my charging issues uh, with this deal and I don't you know with that amount I can't put everything on to the Midnight Solar Classic but I can put maybe two or three of those big honking panels and it, it'll work but <laughs> fun testing fun testing this noise I just need more power I need more power more solar power these cloudy cloudy days are killing me uh, I'm just making enough juice to try to charge up six batteries and I don't want to go crazy on the batteries either uh, because the simple fact is that that solar charge controller has got to do two things it's got to charge and run the house essentially you know through the conversion factor and everything inverter um, so I'm gonna have to over panel big time and that's okay the problem is I got a small dinky house you know 1700 square foot and not a lot of space and I got trees so I gotta make I gotta make it work but everything else is freaking rocking and rolling so well my videos are getting longer and I apologize for that but there's a lot of things I had to show show you guys today and this is Chris, the solar power maker in Oklahoma, signing off. You guys have a great day, and thank you for viewing and, you know, share and subscribe and all that good stuff. All right, guys, take care. Later.